obviously, you know, being a part of that life, you know, being, you know, around these prominent figures that we mentioned earlier. Um, and again, this is movie junk. So we're going to ask movie questions. What do you think or what, what do you um, suggest as a movie that has the most accurate depiction of that life? I got my favorites, but I'd, I'd love to hear kind of what your favorites are. My favorite movie? Uh, mean Streets was very good. Yeah. Uh, of course, Goodfellas and Casino were pretty accurate. Uh, they were both written by Nick Pelleggi, who is a friend of mine. And, you know, Nick does his research. And he was fortunate that he had people that went through it that he could talk to. Uh, you know, when he did, you know, he had Henry Hill, as we know, and for Goodfellas. Uh, and then he began with Frank Collada, who went on board first when yeah. he did Casino. Rosenthal didn't want nothing to do with it. I'll tell you a little inside story here. And, but they were proceeding. And then De Niro wanted to play Rosenthal. Yeah. When Rosenthal thought about her, De Niro wanted to play it, he called Nick. Is it true? Robert De Niro wants to play me? Yeah, it's true. He says, I'm in. So he was involved. And there's a scene in that movie where somebody's killed his, at a swimming pool. And the first time they filmed it, you got Scorsese, you got Pelleggi, you got De Niro all around the pool. And that this scene went nice. The guy got killed, they showed the blood in the water, this and that. But Frank Collada was over on the other side and he's shaking his head no. And Nick went over, he says, Frank, what's wrong? Why are you shaking your head? That was a great scene. Frank said, because that's not the way it happened. And Nick said, what do you mean? How do you know that's not the way it happened? He said, because I'm the one that killed the guy. He said, oh, wow. That's, that's yeah. insane. So they redid it. And Frank Collada got to kill the guy again. <laughs> wow, that's, that's crazy irony. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. But there, those are just some of the things, you know. And you mentioned that my book is totally different than any other gangster book. A number one, it's a book not written by an informant. Number two, and Nick Pelleggi was the first, him and Jack Gilardi were the first two people I sent them the manuscript before I had a book. And Nick read it and he called me up. He says, Ori, your book is really different than any other book. He said, but you don't say nothing bad about any of these guys, except for the informants. I said, because I don't have nothing bad to say about them. They're good guys, Nick. They were my friends. Yeah. Whether they were killers, rapers, no more, whatever they were, they were my friends. You know? Yeah. You know, I got good things to say about them. I don't have bad things. I just say I don't want to be around that life no more. That's it. You know what I mean? But no. People don't realize that we have big hearts. We're kind people. Uh, and we're very giving. We help a lot of people out. And our saying is you're always for the underdog. And we live up to that. You don't have all the society. You've got a bunch of greedy people. Yeah. Yeah. Just echoing what you said as well, too. I, I put Casino. It's kind of on my Mount Rushmore. And uh, you mentioned uh, Nick Pelleggi. And yeah, he he endorsed uh, your book. I mean, he's the first name on there as well, too. So that's that's definitely a really good uh, resource to, to have. And if Nick Pelleggi can uh, can write your movie, potentially, man, that'd be that'd be awesome. Nick will be an executive producer, Ryan. I don't have a million dollars to pay Nick. That's where he gets paper script. 
Yeah, no, know that, that and he's always fun. busy. Now you see that book that you got behind you right there? Oh, that one? Yep. The Godfather? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was the destruction of the mafia. Oh, really? Yeah. On their, with their Joe. So you got to remember, before that there, what happened in the shadows stayed in the shadows. What that book did was it made, glamorized the life and everybody wanted to be part of it. And most of those people that became part of it as a result of that movie became informants. As yeah. soon as the cuffs were on, okay, who do you want to know? Yeah, yeah. From, from my understanding, you know, too, you know, Joe Colombo had some involvement uh, with that with that movie, uh, the word mafia couldn't be used in it. There was a lot of behind the scenes that was going on. The movie was almost uh, destroyed before it even began uh, filming. Um, but yeah, cause there wasn't, there were some movies before The Godfather, but it was really fantasy. Uh, the Godfather really, you know, put the underworld on the map. And I think everything else kind of stemmed as a result of The Godfather. There was a movie, I think it was before, wait, I no answer it. I can't think of the name. Was it before? Real old movie. Uh, Did it come out before or after The Godfather? Maybe after it. it was, it's an old movie, you know. We go down as one of my best. I can see the pictures going, and I and, and it come to me. Where the hell was in it? Yeah, do you know who Great. who starred in it? Was do you have an actor's name or a character name? I'm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm having a blank moment here. <laughs> what the freak was the name of it? Once upon a time in America. Once upon a time in America. <laughs> the eighties. That was the eighties. Yeah, that one uh, also had De Niro. De Niro was in it. Um, uh, James Woods. He was in it. I thought he had a small part, a small part in it. It wasn't a prominent part. Yeah, what's what's wild with Joe Pesci is that you know he did the uh, the Death Collector. I think that was the name of it. And then he kind of went on a little bit of a hiatus. And when they were casting Raging Bull, uh, De Niro remembered Joe Pesci's performance in it and went out to go search for Joe yeah. Pesci. Joe Pesci at the time was managing an Amici's Pizzeria. And they mm -hmm. pulled him out from there and bought him, brought him in Raging Bull. And then the rest was history. Right.